Friday and uh, as you can see I've cut my hair and today I uh, curled it <laughs> I look a little bit funky I mean I can work it you know if I just like oomph it a little bit and I maybe I need some makeup but I was trying really hard to look kind of cute because when I first cut my hair I had the stylist actually curl my hair and I, I thought it looked cute. Maybe today it's a little bit too curled. So if it wasn't so curled then it was a little bit more relaxed. Maybe it'd be really cute. I don't know if it's the curl or if it's that because I've gained weight and I just look ginormous in the viewfinder. <sighs> and I'm sweating right now because of the sun. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd get on camera and I'd be really uncomfortable because of the way I look and how I feel and just maybe something's not gonna look right and I'm gonna feel off and the way I look is gonna mess with my mental well-being because um, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I am doing IVF and it has changed my body so much and just with everything that I've gone through in my life with my dad and with my dad passing away, I just, have put on a lot of weight from the stress, from eating whatever is available, from late night sleeping, from crying, just pretty much everything under the list um, has happened. And so I get to not be ashamed of my body and how I feel and how I look. And so to be very honest, and this is not me being like, oh, you know, I'm like not, and I feel not good, but it's totally okay, I love your skin. No, 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 I actually feel very proud of my body, of what I've been through and how strong it's gotten me through these seasons of my life. I went four days without basically sleeping and I didn't get sick. Like this, this tank did it. This tank did that. And so I'm very, very proud of my body. I'm very proud of what it was able to get me through and uh, the storm I was able to sail through. Um, like, these were the sails. This was the boat. Um, and it's a little, you know, it's a little, a little cracked up. It's a little bit, got some water underneath the, the floorboards. So, today I am choosing to be very, very proud of my body and um, that that's not gonna be something that stops me because I know who I am. I know I work hard. All the stigma that is around me feeling ashamed of my body is like, oh, because I let myself go. You hear that all the time because I let myself go. It must've been that I was I, I had disregard for my health and I didn't eat very well, I didn't exercise, I was lazy, but that is further from the truth. <laughs> I have been working so dang hard for the past few months, if not past three years in a bit. I've worked so hard, I've hustled and um, made some decisions that were very hard. So. I know who I am and I know that from here on forward I'm gonna continue to honor my body and make healthier choices so that I live as long as I possibly can so I can continue to pour my heart my love my gifts out into the world and be able to live with my family and have an abundant amazing beautiful life and after just saying that and pouring that out I actually feel so much better I feel so much better and I and am acknowledging myself for the courage to, to do this because it, it was really scary and uncomfortable. Um, but I don't even know if I'm gonna put this out. So I'm just choosing to turn on the camera and start recording my life and speak my truth and actually talk to the camera and um, talk to myself so that one day if I'm watching this again, I just, am able to experience the season of life that I was going through. And today it's about loving myself. Like I did my nails on my dad's birthday. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do Father's Day. And on the weekend, Sunday is Father's Day officially. 
this has just been a really tough week. And I'm trying not to go on social media as much. This weekend is gonna be a bit of a difficult weekend as well as it's Father's Day. And uh, the first week that I'm ever in my whole entire life celebrating without my dad. So it is kind of weird, kind of weird for sure. I am allowing myself to reminisce in the most beautiful way and feel my feelings, but also to not go so deep and sink so low <laughs> that I can't climb back up from it. And so if you're going through something similar, you probably know what I mean. It's like throw up enough that everything comes out, but not so much so that I completely wreck my throat with the acid reflux. I don't know, you've never done that before. Anyway, I have. And so today, it's about loving myself and um, putting makeup on, just having fun, um, taking it easy, being enjoying my home, being back. I know I'm not gonna do a very heavy look because I just don't enjoy that currently. I have, I'm gonna show you a very, very nasty pimple right here. And I was breaking out tremendously, hideously. I mean, the pimples are hideous, not me. <laughs> hideously from the stress and everything compounded together. Um, just my whole body was like signaling danger, danger, abort, abort ship, like get on the lifeboat, leave, and just, but I couldn't and I chose not to. And so these are battle scars, battle wounds. I know they're gonna heal. It's just gonna take some time. So that's why I haven't been putting on very, very, very thick makeup. I'm letting my skin really breathe and I'm nurturing it, really trying to give it a lot of love. And I have been using more powder and mineral makeup. Actually, today is an experiment day. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm just gonna spot conceal. That way I can get rid of some of the dark blemishes around my face. And then I'll try a really natural eye look and then do something about this crazy hair. <laughs> Oh my gosh, actually, I haven't even washed my face this morning from sleep last night. I woke up, I had to go to my mom's house, and then came back, and I haven't washed my face. I still have the skincare from overnight. I was just thinking, hey, why is it flaking a little bit? <laughs> I don't have on my sunscreen. Ah! I am back, <laughs> and my face now has my morning skincare on. I feel so much more refreshed. I feel amazing, actually. That made a whole load of difference. Oh, better already. Better already. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are, 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 you are the solution. You are the solution. for today I'm feeling good this is the first time I've uh, had the time to actually just go through and uh, very carefully do my makeup not rushing not 
putting eyeshadow on all over the place and not in the car, trying to curl my lashes. Granted, I do a pretty good job now of being on the go and trying to get my makeup on. It just feels really, really, really good to take time to actually uh, warm up the product, warm up concealer and spread it on my skin and be very, very delicate with my skin because this is uh, co my collagen. I, I'm pulling, I'm dragging, I'm not being very careful with it. So it just feels great today to very carefully put on my makeup and I actually uh, went off camera <laughs> to pluck and cut my eyebrows and groom them. I haven't done that in a very long time, so it felt amazing that now I've got some great looking brows and then I just love my eyes. I love that they didn't I I didn't have to do a full glam to feel beautiful. I feel so natural. I feel light. I don't feel like I've got so much product on my skin that it's gonna crease and it's gonna melt off and I can't snuggle up to a baby or I can't snuggle up to my husband and kiss him and feel like it's gonna rub off. Oh, I put some water in my hair so it calmed down just a little bit. I really enjoy it now, I really like it. I just got to take time for myself today. It feels so freaking awesome. I love this, I love this so much. And now I'm gonna go and edit this and I'm gonna go and edit the rest of the other content in my hard drives and I can't wait to keep making videos because this is what I love to do. I just love to talk, share, as I grow, document this for myself or to share it if it's something that I feel like would resonate with other people. Also just loving on myself and spreading that love and um, inspiring you all to love yourself as well. So. If you're, if you're watching, thank you so much for tuning in and watching me put my makeup on and attach to the camera again and subscribe. Subscribe for more new videos that I'm gonna put out and like the video, interact with it, leave me a comment, <laughs> uh, pray for me and I will be talking to you again very soon. Happy day, whatever day you're watching this and I hope you have a fantastic day, bye. Ooh, so, oh my gosh. Hello? I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want to. Hello. I look white as a ghost. Can't stop thinking about your day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. There you have it.